Farming is well behind schedule in South Dakota, and members of Congress are noticing it while they're on the recess. As of last Sunday, soybean planting was only 6%, compared with 56% at this time last year. And corn is faring worse. Planting is at 25%. That's well behind the pace of 87% at this time last year and 90% for the five-year average. Only 2% of corn has emerged in the fields, and that is well behind 45% last year and the 57% average. Well, most of this has to do with the rainy weather we've had and with a few dry days this week when the new report comes out Monday, hopefully there's some improvement. Yeah, hopefully. As Kevin Land's Dan Santella reports, Congressman Dusty Johnson is sitting down with people from the ag industry. Dan? Well, Angela, the representative was at the South Dakota Corn Growers Association in Sioux Falls this afternoon. Topics here included trade, aid, the intersection of politics and agriculture, what's happening in Washington, and Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue. I asked Doug Noem, Hamlin County corn farmer and president of the South Dakota Corn Growers Association, about, Washington, about what Washington can do to help corn growers in South Dakota. The first thing we'd like to see is keep get our trading partners and make sure we, we don't lose those. He says he's keeping a sharp eye on the weather with sunny and dry weather needed. He also says farmers are making hard decisions right now whether or not to continue planting. 